Hi guys, um, this is Sushant Kuchar. Today we are going to talk about what uh, body composition is. See, the composition of your body is called com uh, body com composition. So basically what your body is made up of. Um, so mainly in this concern we are going to talk about muscle, fat, water and bones. So the analysis of which component uh, has what proportion in your body that sort of analysis is called body composition analysis where you are analyzing the composition of your body uh, you are trying to find the composition of your body so um, for this channel which is a fitness channel uh, we are mostly concerned about muscle and fat content in the body by the body composition analysis which is called BCA in short so we are mostly concerned about muscle and fat uh, on our channel uh, we are also concerned about water and bone so water content can be a bit more or less uh, it does not impact that much uh, and you want to you are also you can also be concerned about the bone mineral density if the bone mineral density is uh, too low then you are at a risk of um, uh, easily breaking your bones uh, so that can also be concerned but mostly we are going to be talking about muscle or fat uh, if a doctor uses BCA, uh, the doctor can use it for um, uh, in concern of any disease of a patient. Uh, but for us, uh, the main use of BCA is going to be uh, knowing the content, uh, the amount of muscle we have in our body, the amount of fat we have in our body. Do we need to gain muscle? Do we need to lose fat? All of those things. Okay, so let's say there is a slightly fat or obese guy. So. Uh, this guy uh, gets his BCA done and uh, gets to know he has um, let's say 40% body fat uh, so he needs to lose weight then two, uh, he loses weight for two months and then again gets the BCA done uh, then he comes to know that he is now uh, on 34% body fat so he gets to know that he is progressing he is losing fat or perhaps gaining muscle uh, simultaneously so basically uh, you can get to know if you are progressing and what your current status is. Bodybuilders use it, uh, use BCA to know if they have gained muscle or not, if they have lost fat or not. So basically, in the fitness industry, the main role of body composition, body composition analysis is to know if you have gained muscle or lost fat or not, or vice versa. Now, uh, the ways with which, uh, so first of all, uh, I have talked about or what body fat percentage is and how it is calculated in my previous videos. So the way body fat percentage is calculated, those ways are the ways of body composition analysis. So when you get BCA done, you get to know your body fat percentage. So how to uh, get those things done, I have talked about them in detail in my previous video, how to calculate body fat percentage. Uh, but still I would give a brief about those uh, methods uh, in this video also. So there is one DEXA scan where um, they pass rays to your body and they'll tell you uh, what is the proportion of muscle, fat, water uh, and all of those things. Underwater vein will they, they'll dip you in water and based on how much water you displace they'll give you the readings of your body composition. ADP where they would put you in a machine and based on the amount of air displaced they would give you the readings of your body composition. Skin fold caliper where you have a caliper uh, which you would use to measure the thickness of your skin. The thicker the skin, the more body fat you carry. Uh, that is the basic principle. So you would take readings from your stomach, you can take readings from your chest, hands, uh, legs, thighs. So based on multiple readings and um, uh, average, uh, you get to know how much body fat percentage you have so you get a body composition analysis or how much muscle you have how much body fat you have now this needed this needs some uh, experience for the person who's using it you can get to know it once you try it multiple times you can get to get experience once you try it multiple times now the uh, last one is bioelectrical impedance uh, which is uh, a bit less accurate uh, because it depends on how much hydrated you are um, if you have uh, had, uh, drink water if you have drunk water re uh, immediately before testing so it depends on your hydration status uh, what happens in this is that um, 
uh, you have a machine there are small machines like um, costing 2 or 3000 rupees and there are costly machines like 15 20000 rupees as the machine goes expensive the precision increases and it gives you multiple um, readings multiple sort of readings but uh, the basic principle is that it passes a current through your body and uh, measures your body uh, composition the current is not too high so you would not even realize it uh, but it measures based on the current that it passes through your body and it is a bit less accurate for a layman the best one is the skin fold caliper but you need some experience with it uh, and you can get the experience once you try your hands on it and the second one is bioelectric impedance um, which gives you a bit uh, less accurate reading but it is okay why because whichever way out of these you use you use consistency to track your progress uh, how is that uh, so basically let's say you are using bioelectric impedance bia so if you are using bia uh, let's say it gave you your fat percentage 17% and your actual fat percentage was 12% so if you uh, lose weight uh, after 2 months if your fat percent actual fat percentage is 7% uh, then it is going to tell you that it is around 12% uh, so if there is an error of 5% uh, with consistency in similar environment the error would remain almost same so similar environment means like for example uh, both the times uh, at the time of both measurements you woke up you did not eat or drink anything uh, after getting fresh you measured so in similar environment it should tell you that you are progressing you are on the right path so basically whichever way you use you use it consistently and try to use it in same environment same situations and it should give you uh, uh, readings that would tell you if you are on the right path or not so this was about body composition and body composition analysis um, if you like the video please like comment and share i'll see you in the next video bye